videos, we've discussed some of the basic elements that make up the representations of constituent structure and functional structure in lexical functional grammar. These two modules are more commonly known as C structure and F structure, and were the first two modules proposed for syntactic representation in LFG. But the model can be expanded to include other modules that represent other aspects of grammar. Syntactically relevant semantic information can be modeled in S structure, normally presented as a projection from F structure. It has also been proposed that argument structure should be represented in a separate module called A structure, located between C structure and F structure. And others have worked on developing I structure for modeling the interactions of information structure with syntax. M structure has been proposed for modeling relevant aspects of morphology. Which modules or projections are selected for an analysis is sometimes referred to as an architecture. This is a continual area of exploration in LFG as linguists examine variations of the LFG architecture and consider what the implications are for our understanding of grammar. If you're interested in learning more about LFG, there are several recently published resources to help you get started. Links to these resources will be included in the description for this video. For those who have a basic understanding of syntactic analysis, Christy Boyers, Rachel Nordlinger, and Louisa Sadler wrote a textbook that takes a much more in-depth look at the structures we've covered in these videos and more. There's also a set of video recordings of lectures by Miriam Butt that introduce similar material for graduate students available on the Constance Linguistics YouTube page. A more advanced textbook, one that is more aimed towards linguistic students with experience in syntactic theory, is Lexical Functional Syntax. This is the second edition of a book by Joan Bresnan, this time co-authored with Asha Sude, Ida Tovenon, and Stephen Wexner. Students of syntactic theory may also be interested in Stefan Mueller's chapter on LFG, which compares it to other syntactic theories in this freely downloadable publication from Language Science Press called Grammatical Theory. For more on particular issues in LFG, the Oxford Reference Guide to Lexical Functional Grammar is a comprehensive reference work that will give a summary of key concepts with references to more reading on the topic. The first edition of this book was written by Mary Dalrymple, and this second edition is co-authored with John Lowe and Louise Mycock. There is also a forthcoming 50-chapter handbook of LFG that will be released via Language Science Press in the next year or so. For historical reading, it's worth noting that the first publication of LFG was a 1982 volume edited by Joan Bresnan called The Mental Representation of Grammatical Relations. Some of the history leading up to the publication of this volume is included in the introductory chapter to a collection of papers published in 1995 under the title Formal Issues in Lexical Functional Grammar. There's also an annual LFG conference, which is a small and friendly group and a great place to meet people with an interest in LFG. And the proceedings of these conferences are published open access by CSLI publications. I hope the quick overview of LFG in these videos has been enough to give you a sense whether this method of modeling syntactic structures is something that you want to explore further and also make clear that there are resources freely available for anyone who wants to learn more about LFG.